Hey, what's up everybody? It's late on a Saturday afternoon. Storm's coming. I'm gonna try to pick up something for dinner. My three prongs out there. I'm gonna swim south. See you in the water. This one's gonna be a really quick dive because the storm's coming. Uh, looks like the, you know, it, it's gonna rain. There's my three prong. So normally when I need to go in and out really fast, I go um, to this location. It's pretty much a swimming hole. And um, the fish are really kind of skittish here because there's so many people swimming here. But um, I'm just gonna get in. Hopefully I get something and get out. Because I'm gonna be freezing, I know it. So I'm kind of hoping that it's gonna be one drop one fish and I am out of the water so I'm really close to my entry point and it's really shallow here you can see some fish out on that little flat so I'm gonna try my luck on my first drop hit the bottom got my evolve working my way through the boulders trying to see if I can see anything in the cracks um, only some small cola, not enough for dinner. Nothing. No luck on this one. So I guess I have to make another drop. You can see the sky already starting to change color. So I'm going to swim out to a little bit deeper area. And I'm going to make my second drop of the day. So I'm going into that area, um, that little flat area between the boulders. Going to try to camp out over there. Make my drop. You can see it's a little um, um, cloudy, the water today. Uh, the viz wasn't great, but this is the viz that I like. I made my drop exactly where I wanted. Hit the bottom, rest myself in the crack, and working my way through the boulders. I see some King Cole there, that's my target. Take a shot, and I got it. Nice headshot. I have my fish, and that's good enough for dinner. So, I'm really stoked. I got one. So I'm gonna dispatch it and head in and I'm already know what I'm gonna do with this guy so this guy we're gonna fillet up and hopefully um, the rain will hold off long enough where we can um, use our grill but I'm not counting on it but I'm gonna fillet this guy up and make some fish nuggets and this will go along with some chicken and some rice so I'm gonna head in and I'm gonna see you in the kitchen well here we are in the kitchen of our tiny house and it is pouring rain so we're gonna have to cook inside um, really don't like frying inside if at all possible because um, you know I don't like the splatter so I have my little cheap fillet knife and so what I do is um, I poke it in and I start a cut along the fin just to set the angle so then I push the knife through right on the spine head to the tail so I'm gonna cut along the fin up toward the um, cavity and I'm gonna drop the fish okay so I'm gonna start running my uh, knife along the spine and I'm just going right to the spine there. I'm turning it at an angle so I keep as much meat as possible. Then I'm just going to hold it and pull it all the way through to get the fillet off. Running into some bones there. And I'm just going to cut it at an angle to remove the fillet. So 
So it's why it's stuck is um, there are a couple bones that it's you know the rib cage that it's stuck on, and there we have our one fillet. And I'm going to do the same to the other side, but I'm not going to bore you with it. So I've removed the second fillet. I'm going to put the carcass on the side, and now I'm going to wipe my board, and I'm going to take off the meat from the skin, or remove the skin from the meat. So I hold the end and just run it right along the skin, and and um, I'm pinching it between my thumb and my forefinger, and just pull the skin and move my knife, and there we go. Nice little fillet, and I'm going to do the same to the other one. And there are the two pieces. I cleaned them up, cleaned my board, well, patting it down dry with a paper towel, and now I'm going to cut them up into nugget size. I want to make sure that it's really nice and dry because uh, it'll fry up better. And I'm cleaning any debris uh, that's on the fillets off. Okay, I cut them up into small little pieces and the batter that we're using is uh, tempura batter. And just going to drop them all in there coat them really nicely and then um, you can see there's some pepper and some garlic salt in the batter gonna stir it up and gonna start dropping it into the hot oil and uh, once it hits the oil it's gonna cook really quickly you can see there's some stuff in the oil already and that was from the chicken that we cooked so um, we're gonna have King Kohli Nuggets and Fried Chicken. So I try to remember the order that I'm putting it in. So you can see that I started from the upper left and just moved down. Oh, kind of got out of order there. So I know wh which ones to um, pull out first. So what I'm doing right now is I'm covering it with our splatter shield and I wipe down my tongs so it doesn't stick and I'm going to turn it. And you can see how quickly it cooks. I could use chopsticks as well but I already had my tongs out so I thought that'd be uh, easier because it's going to cook like super fast. And it's going to be ready by the time I get to the bottom. Hey and I did follow the order. It's going to be perfect. Spread it out. So there we go. It's all ready. And I'm going to take them out and put them on a paper towel. And it's going to be ready to eat. And what we're going to do for the sauce is I've uh, been really uh, addicted to this Lay's potato chip uh French onion dip. So that's what we're going to use for the sauce for this guy. So we're going to have a couple of uh, fried chicken thighs, some white rice, and some King Kole nuggets that we just shot not too long ago. Straight from the ocean, right to the kitchen, cooked up and ready for dinner. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and aloha.